I love the way Instagram works, but how can I possibly get my app to do the same? By that, of course, I mean the pinch to zoom effect. So this project's about creating an interpretation of Instagram. So I've got images here, and if I pinch, the image can be bigger or smaller, it can move, and the larger it is, the more dark the background is. And that's pretty much the effect I wanted. There are things you could do to stop it wobbling quite as much as I'm doing this. On a real device, it's much better, but those are kind of optimizations that you might want to do after. So let's look at the code. These numbers, these images are just numbered one to eight and they're in the asset catalog. Nothing too special, nothing too special about the way I've set up the collection view here. And all this code will be in the link in the video description. However, down here we have a delegate because the collection view needs to know when you're pinching. When you're pinching, then you don't want to be able to scroll with the view, it'll throw everything off and it's not the effect you want. So we set the cell delegate to be this view controller, which just either enables or disables scrolling for the collection view. And we set up the cell with the data, which is pointing just to the image as you see. Now you could, of course, download an image from the API, but within this tutorial, I'm not gonna do that. And basically the logic here is you set up the image and you set up a pinch recognizer on the image. And when you start pinching, you actually hide the existing image. So you hide the existing image, you put a dark background with a certain alpha on it, and then put a new image on top of that, and that's the one you're going to scroll. And when you finish, you hide those layers. Because we're not adding it to the collection view, because we, when we zoom, we can actually go over the navigation bar if you have one. I'm actually adding to the window. Now, some design systems don't allow you to do that, and you can get around that by adding to the navigation bar. So there are different things you could do, but this is about considering a solution. So you need to check that the user is actually zooming and not zooming out. So we work that out with the current scale and the scale of the pinch. Then you set up this overlay view and it's got a black background and a certain alpha transparency. You set up the, the center to be exactly the same as the existing image and set up a new instance of the image view. So then it will look exactly the same when you start pinching. And then you add that new image view onto the overlay view, basically. And you hide the old image because when you zoom these in, you can actually move it. And if the old image is there, you'll be able to see it. Now, of course, when we've finished our pinch, we need to do everything to put everything back, as in we need to get rid of that overlay and we need to get rid of the image and we need to reappear the original image, which is just hidden. And now it's a bit more than that because you need to have the center of the view. It's doing a transform, but there's nothing thrilling there. I mean, I suppose there's a animation for UI view, but there's nothing unexpected. So basically it's this logic of adding an overlay view, adding the image on top and allowing you to pinch in and out. And then you have this nice effect and you have a working UI collection view. Of course, this implementation is not perfect. I mean, what implementation is, but it gives an idea about how this might be approached and how you might extend it and perhaps even make it that bit better.